Today, I wanna to build up and sell my 2022 YT Jeffsy uncaged frame. And if you remember, when I bought this complete bike, it came with electronic suspension, carbon, everything, and retailed for nearly $10,000. But the problem is, the used bike market is in shambles and selling a used bike for like $3,000 or more is gonna be next to impossible. So the goal today is to build up this bike downgrade it and hopefully make a quick sale for $1,800. So I got a lot of decisions to make on what parts to install, but there's no way I'm keeping this wireless reverb dropper on here though. So I could have went with this SR Suntour cheapy shock, but I just couldn't do it. I, I threw on a Fox Flow X because I feel like a piggyback shock will definitely entice the buyer. But really the biggest selling point of this bike is that it's a carbon frame. So hopefully someone sees that and goes, whoa, $1,800 for a carbon trail bike? But I do have some options. So here I have three different forks, a Fox, a Lyric, and a Recon. And the uh, Lyric and the Recon both cost me $300 used. And the Lyric is the one that was on the uh, low bike for the high low series. It's a good fork. But I think if I want to get $1,800 for this sale, using a Recon would probably hurt that potential sale. And because of the uh, Fox Shock being on there for consistency, I think I'm going to go with the Fox Fork just because it'll look better. Dang, man, this is coming together pretty nicely. And I went ahead and installed these Renthal carbon bars. And I probably could have sold these separately for like $100. But uh, I like these one-up bars. These are, uh, I like them better than, than these, that's for sure. And I, I, I wanted to avoid using any kind of color pops like this blue here, because the last thing I want is someone to go, oh, that's such a nice bike, but I don't like that color though. And a lot of people buy a bike based on the color. You guys might be wondering why I'm acting like selling this carbon bike for $1,800 is a lot. Well, that's because it kind of is. I usually sell bikes and try to aim for like $1,000 to $1,500, and that's a great deal. Those bikes will sell fast. So for me wanting to ask for $1,800, well, that's kind of in the upper price range from what I'm used to, so I really can't cheap out on the parts that I put on this thing. But the biggest thing I want to avoid is buying new cables or brake hoses because, man, they're like 30 to 50 bucks a pop. And I'm not hell bent on thinking about profits with this build because it'd be hard to calculate. Like with this dropper, I got it way back in 2021. I've used it a ton. And plus I got it for free to promote PNW components. So it's not really about profit. It's more about capturing some money back from this bike so I can use it on other builds. So I have two sets of brakes here. I got uh, SRAM DB8 and SRAM code R and I'm gonna decide which one I wanna use depending on which hose is long enough.
this bike is turning out so good. And I was planning on using a Dior group set with like a super cheap cassette, but I'm thinking this GX group set is just gonna add to the, you know, the allure of the bike and people are gonna go, oh, I want that bike so bad, it has everything I want. And it's funny, these are SRAM 165 millimeter long cranks. This length is, is all the rage these days, you know, but I just do not like 165s. It has something to do with uh, the pedaling. It's kind of a long explanation, so if you want to know more, ask in the comments. But check out this cockpit though, it is super clean. Since I went with the SRAM Code R's, I was able to use the uh, lever adapters uh, to integrate the shifter into the lever clamp. So it is just super clean on both sides. Uh, but let's talk about the wheels. I got something to show you guys and it's not good. So these are the Hunt trail wide wheels that came off the low bike and the rear tire has a gash in it. So I'm definitely gonna replace that. But the big issue is this. Dang, man, this is a huge dent in the rim. This happened in the crash where I hurt my thumb. I lost front end traction, but while I was going down, the front wheel hit a tree, leaving this huge oh. dent. So I'm gonna do my best to straighten it out, something that I've never done before, but let's get this going to wrap up this build. Well, got it all straightened up. Uh, if you guys have any tips on how to do that better, let me know in the comments. I mean, the, the bead is pretty straight for the most part, uh, but there's a little bit of a crease right there on the rim. And if this was my wheel, I would have no problem running it until it just absolutely exploded. But I went and spun the wheel and yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of a wobble. I could fix that. But the bearings also feel kind of crunchy at the same time. So I must have done some pretty big damage and I can't in good conscience sell a bike with that front wheel on. So I'm gonna use this, a Hunt E Enduro wheel, a little bit heavier, but uh, this is just a better option. I, I, I hate selling a bike, or actually I don't sell bikes if I feel like I'm ripping the person off or if I feel like there's gonna be problems down the road. I try to avoid all that. So this is a pretty good option, even though a little bit of a mismatch, a little heavier, but let's get these tires installed and get this going. Dang, dude, this bike turned out so good. I still gotta do a little bit of tuning up to do, like get the shifting good, maybe get the brakes bled, all that stuff, but this thing is looking so good. I almost don't wanna get rid of it. I mean, it's, it's looking as good as it did when I got it with all the fancy parts, and I'm feeling really happy about uh, you know the sale. There's nothing sketchy about it. Everything's really good to go. So the only thing left to do now is, let's go take some pictures of it. Seeing this outside of the way it looks, this bike looks awesome. And I'm having some second thoughts, dude. I think I should probably list this thing for 2,200. 
hope to get 1800 but uh, if you're like seeing this video and you're like oh man i want that bike so bad i'm not willing to ship it just yet so if you're in bentonville or local to northwest arkansas hit me up i'll definitely sell it for 1800 <laughs> but you know i wish i could ride it to see if the downgrades you know made a big difference on the ride feel and everything but that's just the way it goes i got two more weeks in the cast till i see the doctor at least and uh yeah you know i, I took the bike i'm not gonna ride it anymore i'm capturing the value by selling it and i'm making space in my garage plus i'll have a little bit extra money to upgrade my favorite bike which is going to be the next episode 